Hey everyone, it's Brenda with Stampin' Up. Today I have a few cards to show you that I have made with the Friends Are Like Seashells stamp set. I also used the embossing folder and the dies that had come with it. These are all being clearanced out. Uh, well, retired, I should say. They're not on clearance. They're being retired. The dies and the embossing folder have both been marked down the stamp set is not, but they are as supplies last. So if you're interested in these, make sure you check that out ASAP before they're gone. So let me show you the first card I made. Uh, I was using By the Bay paper and I used this sheet right here. Okay. What I did is I ran it through the embossing folder. And then I went over it lightly with Rich Razzleberry ink. Now, when you go over the embossed paper with ink, it picks up the detail of the embossing folder. So it turns out really neat. And this is how my card turned out. So you can see all that detail that came out with the Rich Razzleberry ink. I also did my glitter technique that I showed in my last napkin card video of how to add glitter to your cards. So if you haven't seen that, I can put the link below and uh, you can see that video. And the sentiment came from Waves of Inspiration. And this has been carried over to the new annual catalog, so it is not retiring. You can get that anytime. So that was my first card. Inside, I put Love You to the Beach and Back. And that also came from this stamp set. Okay, so that's the first card. The second card, I used this By the Bay paper. I decided to try with the gold and see what would, what would happen with that. Okay, so I did the same thing. I ran it through the embossing folder. But this time I went over it with a blue, and I don't recall which one I used. I think I used a very light coat of Bermuda Bay, which has uh, been retired, and I believe it sold out. You could use Coastal Cabana or uh, Balmy Blue, and I may have used one of those. I don't remember. I don't remember. I didn't make note of it. But that's how that turned out. And that picks up the detail as well. I did go over. I forgot to. I think I think I went over it with Balmy Blue. But I don't know. That's a good question. I should have written it down. But anyway, that's how that turned out. I did the same thing on the inside. Okay. And the third card... I decided to use Texture Chic, this paper here with the gold polka dots. I thought maybe that might be kind of neat. So I did the same thing. I ran that through my embossing folder and I went over it again with Rich Razzleberry. And I kind of went over it kind of heavily with this color. And so that's how this one turned out. And I also added the glitter to this one. Same sentiment. Okay, so basically the same cards, just different colors and different papers. Okay, now the third one, I decided to do something completely different. And I used this paper from the By the Bay. And I went over this lightly with Balmy Blue to fill in some of this white. All right, and then I took this die, all right, and I cut out, oh, now I'm trying to think. I should have written all this down. I think what I did is I, first I went, I put it through the embossing folder, and I think what I did is I used Pear Pizzazz, uh, cardstock. I ran it through the embossing folder. Then I lined this up and cut out the embossed part. And then I did my little saran wrap trick over the top of the die cut part 
with more ink so that it was the same color it was the pear pizzazz and this is how that turned out and then the shells I ran I did the same thing I ran white through the embossing folder I cut them out with this now this doesn't completely cut out the shells but it cuts it out enough that you can just snip away the excess and then you have your shells cut out and I went over these before I cut them out with Balmy Blue and Blushing Bride very lightly just to get it some color. And then I used Wink of Stella and I went all over the shells. If you can see the shimmer on those. And so that's how I did that one. And then I put on a few of these loose frosted dots. These have been carried over, but they're, I think they're sold out right now, but they are coming back, I think, at the end of the month. So I put a few of these little pink ones on there for that. So that's how that one turned out. And I just put a few little seashells um, at the bottom. And, you know, I think that one is from, uh, uh, it, it's from the By the Bay or the, um, can't remember what that's called seaside bay i think it might be from uh, i forgot to take a note of that so anyway but these are my cards like i said this stamp set dies and embossing folder are all retiring and so if you're interested make sure you check those out but those are my cards for today and of course my uh april hostess code is there if you need it don't forget that i don't have my own website so all you have to do is enter my hostess code at stampinup.com or if by chance you were ordering $150 or more, you do never, you never want to use the hostess code. If $150 is your own party. So if you ever order that much, no matter who you're ordering from, don't use the hostess code because you will get your own hostess rewards that way. I think you earn 10% back. So on $150, you'd get $15 worth of stuff for free. So anyway, that is my video for today. Uh, please like and share and comment. Let me know what you think of these. And uh, I kind of wish I would have put the glitter on this one, um, but I didn't. Anyway, uh, let me know what you think and have a great day and God bless. Bye-bye.